And, and it's like working with a screwdriver. <laughs> screwdriver motion, guys. Screwdriver <laughs> motions. Seasons greetings, guys. This is What You're Drinking. Today is about a Christmas cobbler featuring Ciroc Vodka. So let's get shaking. So Rakesh, I love that we are making drinks for periods of our Christmas day. That means we get in some quality cocktails at every point of the day. So what time are we making this one for? Well, we're going to start off the day with our breakfast cocktail. First thing in the morning? First thing in the morning. All right. So All right. what are we making here? Well, we're going to do a spin of our classic. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to do a cobbler, which okay. was initially made with sherry, mm -hmm. sugar, mm -hmm. slices of uh, citrus. Right. But since it's breakfast, we don't, you know, we want to start off the, the morning period, you know, in a very lively fashion. Yes. Because we still have other drinks to come along during mm -hmm, the day. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is make a spin of this classic, right. the, the sherry cobbler. But in this case, we're going to substitute with vodka. A Ciroc vodka That's Christmas right. cobbler. So vodka will be our base spirit. Sure. Uh, this drink, over time, you know, it started to use other things as well, other mm. ingredients. So, okay. say we, we start seeing flavoured syrups, okay. liqueurs, okay. fruit brandies, mm -hmm. even bitters. So, we have a little bit of everything We going have on. a little bit of everything. And, and you know sure. what is very good about this, this, this cocktail, mm -hmm. Kez, is that we're going to use fresh fruit. Yeah. And you know, breakfast, fresh fruit, it goes hand mm -hmm, in hand, mm -hmm. you know. This makes sense. So, Take me I think when it comes to tradition, let's work with the cobbler shaker. The cobbler shaker, that's this one. That's right. And All I right. think this drink was, was, it's another old cocktail, a vintage cocktail. Right. And you know, keeping with that tradition, let's work keeping with our cobbler three. shaker. All, All right. right. So it's a three-part cobbler shaker, mm -hmm. but you take off the top part. There we right. go. Right. And we're going to start working with our fruits. Okay. All right. Thank so, you. two wedges of pineapple. Two. Two. One, two. Mm -hmm. All right, one wedge of orange. All right, so we've got our orange here. Now, initially, this drink never used lemon, but mm -hmm. you know, times have changed. So yeah, let's use a small lemon, a small, small wedge of lemon. A little one. Mm -hmm. In. And we use a lot of maraschino cherries for Christmas, especially okay. like when we're making fruit cake. So we yes. would have mar maraschino cherries lying around. Definitely. Let's put in three cherries inside there. One, two, Three. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. All right. Now we're going to work with our syrup. Okay. But you have to measure this guy. All right. So just we're going to work with three quarter ounces of syrup. So all in. This is pre-measured. Pre-measured. All right. So all in. Boop. And we are working with a cinnamon syrup. Ooh. So this is not your regular plain old syrup. This is a nice infused syrup. That's right. Again, that cinnamon smell actually coming straight out. That's right. Mm -hmm. And now I want you to put three drops of bitters inside there, oh, aromatic bitters. Three drops. So we have fresh fruit, we have our sweetener, uh -huh. and we're putting a little bitter inside there. All right. We are not working with our spirits just yet. Okay. And now it's time to muddle. This is the muddle part. The muddle part. All, All right. right. Thank you very much. So, so we get it in. Right. And you press Palm. into, that's right. All right. And, and it's like working with a screwdriver. <laughs> screwdriver motion, guys. <laughs> screwdriver motions. Right. And you just want to make sure the fruit is, you know, muddled, crushed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because when we shake this cocktail, since vodka doesn't have much of a taste, in yeah. this instance, it's not a flavored vodka we're working with. We want to make sure, obviously, those flavors are- Strong. Well, they would be strong <laughs> as compared to vodka, <laughs> but, but guaranteed that we're going to flavor both our spirits. All Got right, it. so that should be it. That should be we're cast. muddled up good. Yep, muddled right. up perfectly. Thank you. So now we're going to work with our vodka and we're just going to put one ounce. star ingredient. So one ounce. Okay. So into our jigger. Let right. me hold this guy properly. Kiss and pour. Kiss and pour. Good to go there? Good to go there. Right then. Thank you, sir. Can you take this? All right. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put now one ounce cherry brandy. Thank you. Very big thing for us for Christmas. Yes, yes. Right. And just a quick bruise. And one more time again. That's right. Got it. This smells like a fruit cake. It smells like a fruit cake. <laughs> so good. All right, that's it. Get yes. to go. Thank right. you. Mm -hmm. So now it's time to shake our cocktail. All right. We're going to work with cubed ice this time. Okay. Okay. So when shaking, we're going to use the cube ice. Mm -hmm. And we're going to fill this guy up. All the way up. All the way up. Got it. Right, so you could put back your cap on okay. and it's time to shake. All right, so shaking time and this shaking one is time. different. This is shock shock motion, guys. 
and I'm counting to my slow time. Slow ten. <laughs> Uh, can? That's it. <laughs> so just remove the cap. All right, sure. Oh, cap. the... Right, because this is the easy shaker. The easy shaker. No problem okay. shaker. All right. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to work with some frappe ice, which okay. is crushed ice. Sure. Okay. And we're just going to put in some ice there. Now, this ice is very easy to work with, but there's one small disadvantage. What's it that? melts rapidly. Ah. So it means, therefore, now you're going to double strain okay, sure. into... Your old-fashioned glass. Got it. Let's put a finger right on top there. Sure. Right. Just Good. to make sure. And just give it a little wiggle. A little wiggle. Yes, because that fruit sometimes, right? So you can raise it up again. So give it a little swirl. Move it, move it around right. a little bit. And just put and back, back again. again. There we go. There we go. You still have more inside there. I, I, I can feel it. <laughs> but the fruits are blocking. Right. We're good to go there? Or We're you good want to a little go. more? Well, just, let's, let's just make sure. Little thing. We're not wasting here, guys. Good. That should be it. All right. Good All right. Go. So I'll get this from you. Thank you. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, Kez, we don't stir this drink at all because okay. this ice melts rapidly. So just right. we just want to get those air pockets out of there. So okay. just give it a few so dabs. Just a little. Go right down. All the way down. That's just it. Stop it right in. there. Got it. And what we're going to do now mm -hmm. is just cap. Then that means to cover just with more cover. ice. A little more ice. Okay. All right. Good. Really and now it's time to apply your garnish. Ah, this is the best part. Beauty. All right, so we grab in the first part, which is our skewer. Right. And we rest in this you guy. Could it, you could put it on the... On the back? Yeah. He's in? He's in. He's in. He's in. <laughs> and just finish off. All right, let's grab the other part of our garnish. And he sits right here. Okay. Thank you very much. What would I do without you? You're welcome. Excellent. Excellent. What a festive looking drink. We got all the Christmas colors, so you know, of course, it's time to taste. All right. Cheers, guys. It should be light on the palate. This tastes like breakfast. This tastes like a first drink of the morning. Wake up and Merry Christmas. <laughs> this tastes like the present itself. I love it. I love it. Really, really nice, fresh kind mm -hmm. of flavor. It's not heavy. I think we did a good job on this one. Okay. Definitely so. Thank you so much, Rakesh. I mean, what are we eating for breakfast with this cocktail? Well, let's go with our traditional Christmas breakfast items. So ham and hops? Ham and hops. Ham and hops it is, guys. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to tell us what are you eating on Christmas morning with this lovely cocktail. And of course, pick up a bottle of Ciroc at Naughty Grape so that you can make this guy right here. Until next time, bye-bye. See you then.